Dear Wild Hunters friends, welcome back again to our Feather Solid Drop Time 3030. This time is uh, uh, something about uh, wild boar hunting on drive here in Tuscany. I have uh, tested uh, already here in Tuscany our Feather Solid Drop Time 3030 uh, Winchester in uh, for uh, uh, some special type of hunting here in Italy on uh, culling for wild boars and uh, for roe deer uh, for what it, it concerns a normal uh, kind of hunting that we call here in Italy selezione. Okay, uh, then I have tested it extensively, very extensively in Africa, in South Africa for big animals, big plain games animal and uh, it was a fantastic test uh, but now I wanted to test it uh, in another uh, scenario the wild boar hunting on drive which is very popular here in uh, not only in Italy but uh, in all Europe and the east in the eastern Europe so it, it was uh, mandatory to, to test it uh, this drop time also in this uh, type of hunting uh, the, main, the two main features of this uh, wonderful carbine is uh, uh, the ergonomy and uh, the extreme uh, variety of uh, target acquisition systems that present. Uh, the ergonomy is, uh, is uh, fantastic because uh, the, the quality and the type of stock, it's an adjustable, it has an adjustable stock that uh, allows you to use many types uh, of uh, uh, target acquisition system from uh, various types uh, of uh, uh, open sites, uh, ghost rings uh, or standard uh, uh, fiber optics uh, uh, rear and front sites uh, through uh, the Contessa uh, Weaver uh, rail you can use uh, many types uh, of red dots and also long eye relief scopes. Not only that, but you can also use conventional scope with a special uh, uh, rail system by Contessa, which is a lateral, a, a lateral uh, attachment that I will show you briefly uh, with uh, some uh, pictures. Uh, so, whatever, uh, whichever. Uh, type of acquisition system you desire to use, you will find the opportunity to do it in this Pedersoli drop time in 3030 Winchester. Obviously this type of, of, of rifle is available also in other version, in, in another, in the more classic, in another classic caliber, the 4570. But in this uh, case, uh, we have uh, a, a caliber that uh, in South Africa demonstrates uh, uh, its uh, still its uh, modernity because it, it, the 30 30 Winchester with uh, uh, very modern uh, uh, cartridges can show uh, can sh still shows a, a, a very uh, fantastic. Uh, uh, op opportunity for the modern hunter to hunt also big big animals or bigger animals that you can take. Uh, so we, I, 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 when I went in South Africa I was able to shoot a lot of impalas but also uh, blue wildebeest uh, and also kudus so big, big animals and with great uh, uh, efficiency. These cartridges this cartridge is still very efficient and for all my tests in Italy or and also in South Africa I use the Baschierian Pellagri new carbon powder the BP106 that uh, is uh, perfect for uh, this caliber okay I will give you obviously uh, the, the receipt of, uh, of this, uh, of this uh, powder okay so and, and all the components that I use for reloading my cartridges uh, here and uh, in Africa. Uh, also I, I will use this uh, uh, new type of red dot 
okay, which is a, it's an acronym, CB Life, it's Country Values for Life, Red Dot, is a two more, uh, Red Dot, very interesting, very interesting, that I will use with uh, my classic uh, Contessa Alessandro detachable, quick detachable mount, uh, Weaver Weaver, so the, uh, the, uh, the detachable mount will be uh, connected with the, the Contessa uh, Weaver rail, the standard, that, uh, the standard rail that uh, the drop tine has uh, for in stock, and also it has a, a mini rail, uh, also a weaver, in order to connect this, uh, this uh, red dot. Uh, I will uh, take off uh, the AR uh, device here, so it will be it will uh, stay very low, uh, which is mandatory in uh, on uh, wild boar hunting on dry. Okay, so everything now is uh, ready to go. We are ready to rumble. Let's go to the shooting range. I will start. Uh, uh, zeroing uh, the open sights, the standard open sights at uh, 50 yards and then after I will uh, go over with, uh, with the red dot by C CB Live okay? and uh, then we will go hunting for wild boar on drive here in Tuscany. Dear friends of Wild Hunters, here we are at the shooting range of the Armeria Innocenti gun shop. I want to zero my open sights at 45 meters, which is almost uh, 50 yards. It's uh, a, a standard uh, distance, uh, zeroing distance for wild boar hunting on drive. I have already pre-zeroed with other ammunitions. Uh, but now it's time to make a, a definitive uh, uh, zeroing for before going hunting for wild boar. Okay, let's start.
I uh, did it uh, a little experiment because I had two uh, different uh, um, federal uh, uh, cartridges uh, that uh, were made uh, at one ear, uh, one uh, from the other. Uh, the, the, the newest made a two shots group here. The other one, the older, made a, a two shots groups here. So they are both 170 grains, high shock uh, bullets, but the, the shape of the, these bullets are a little bit different. Uh, they, are, they have the same weight, the same velocity at the muzzle, but a, a little, di there is a little difference between uh, uh, the ballistic coefficient and the, the shape of the bullet. So one from, one from the other uh, is just a question of left and right, because the height is the same at the 45 meters. So at 50, a little bit more than 50 yards, the, the height is, uh, uh, is the same. I will uh, hunt obviously with the newest ones, uh, with this, so now it's just a question of uh, shifting the two groups here, from here to here, and I will be ready for wild boar hunting on drive. So now after the experiences in Africa and uh, on selection hunting here in, in Tuscany, now is the turn of uh, wild board hunting on drive. I will start uh, with the open sights, then uh, the second part of the test will be dedicated with the red dot. Uh, we are at almost at the end of the season, so there is no enough leaves trees but today I have a very difficult uh, post to manage because it's very thick bush there and then I have only 10-15 meters that I expect that uh, the animal will will uh, get through uh, running so it will, it will not be an easy task with the open size but I have a great expectation because uh, there are a lot of animals around, so we we'll see, let's see. È fermo, è fermo. È fermo, è fermo. Mi è sbucato alle spalle e è andata bene, l'ho preso. Purtroppo non ho fatto a tempo a girare la telecamera, che l'animale veniva veloce. Comunque è stato un bel tiro. Eccolo lì.
morto ok casomai lo, lo portiamo sulla strada
it's dead, it's dead, so now we are going to take it and put it in the, in the, in the road, in the dirty road here. This is the first wild boar. This is the primo that I've preso. I'm going to die, man. Come to help. Okay. Si, si, è quello lì. È quello piccolo. Sì, sì. Mi dispiace di non aver preso quello grosso, ma non potevo sparare perché c'era l'altra posta. Eh? Passavo fuori? È passato fra me e lui, però era troppo pericoloso. Come quell'altro che è passato sulla mia destra, era scollina Poggio, non ho potuto fare nulla. Dear friends of Wild Hunters, a great uh, uh, trio today, not very big animals, average between 60 and 70 pounds, but very fast, very difficult to shot uh, with uh, the open sights. I'm very satisfied. I, had uh, the opportunity also to test uh, this muzzle break by Contessa Alessandro. It seems to be to shoot, shooting with a 22 Winchester Magnum instead of the 3030. This is an unbelievable product that I have already tested with the 45.7 in Africa for buffalo hunting. It's uh, well made. Also my reloaded cartridges with Baschieri and Pellagri powder, fantastic. And what I can say now about this drop line, it's a really fantastic rifle, very reliable, very accurate, very fast on the acquisition of the target. So now I have some drives left and I will use the, the red dot and I hope to take some other nice white boars. Okay, let's continue the test. Dear friends of Wild Hunters, here we are at the shooting range of the Armeria Innocenti gun shop. I want to zero my open sights at 45 meters, which is almost uh, 50 yards. It's a, a, a standard uh, distance, uh, zeroing distance for wild boar hunting on drive. I have my Federal. I have already pre-zeroed with other ammunitions, uh, but now it's time to make a, a definitive uh, uh, zeroing for before going hunting for wild boar. Okay, let's start. Okay. Adesso andiamo a vedere dove sono. Ok, I'm just two inches on the left, but for uh, uh, what it concerns uh, the, the elevation, I'm ok, perfectly on, uh, in, the, in the center. So the pre-zeroing at the Contessa factory was perfect. 
I have shot a little bit on the left. I I I, I know because when uh, the the shot went off, uh, I was a little bit on the left side. So I will just give uh, three clicks on the right, and I think that I'm I, I will be okay. Okay, let's uh, let's now move uh, uh, here. There is this practical system. Just tricky click on the on the right. Okay. Three click a destra. E siamo a posto. Adesso tiro un altro colpo. My shot went off perfectly. Now let's go and see where the bullet is. Now this is uh, the first shot, okay? But uh, with the red dot, uh, that uh, uh, this uh, kind of a red dot uh, takes uh, this uh, this uh, circle inside. So I have to sp I have enough uh, space uh, to place it uh, inside the bullet. It's, it's very usable. Uh, is, is, you know, it's two more, and then I gave three click on the right, and uh, the second shot went off perfectly. I was perfectly centered because the first one, I was uh, one the 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 I pulled the trigger. My my red dot was around here, so I gave three clicks, and the second. Uh, shot went off very well, very, very well placed, and this is the result. So now I will go to uh, 50 yards, okay, and I will give another shot just to, to, to see if it, it goes a little bit up or a little bit down, I don't know, uh, and then I will be uh, ready 100% to go for wild boar hunting on drive. I am back a little bit because I wanted to show you at the 50 yards I gave a shot it was right inside the very bullseye so I'm very satisfied about uh, the accuracy and the precision of this uh, drop time uh, uh, this red dot is fantastic and also the Baschieri and Pellagri powder for my reloading now I'm going hunting at uh, almost uh, minus two uh, average, minus two centigrade degrees here in Italy. Uh, it's a, it's a, a reloaded uh, cartridge that, that I prepared for Africa, for South Africa, uh, five months ago, and uh, it was very hot. But uh, as you can see, uh, it's very reliable very reliable, even if uh, you have a, a great excursion of the temperature and density of the air, but uh, it's, uh, it's very well balanced, this, this uh, Baschieri and Pellagri powder, it's unbelievable. Okay, now let's go again hunting for white balls on driving Tuscany. My post is a very short distance shooting, so I will use the open sights. But later, at the drive, I will move in a more open space, so I will use the red dot. Okay. This is the last drive of the season, so you never know. Dear Wild Hunters friends, welcome back uh, to the test. It's time uh, now to make some useful conclusions. 
Okay, there are four main uh, words that uh, came, came to, to my mind at the end of this test. Four words that describe uh, all the feelings, the sensation, and uh, the, the real specs of this uh, combo. Okay, let's start from uh, uh, the drop time, the Pedersoli drop time 30 30. The first word is accuracy. I have never owned a 30 30. I must say that uh, I own a lot of 3030s, Winchesters, Henrys, Marlins, so I know exactly what I'm talking about, but I have never seen a 3030 so accurate. And this is something that uh, allowed me to make possible this very long and extensive uh, te uh, test on the hunting field in South Africa and in Italy on drive on selective hunting, uh, culling, so a very long and articulate test, but without accuracy, accuracy this level of accuracy, uh, uh, this could not be uh, done. Okay, so the first feature of this drop time is accuracy. The second is ergonomy. This is uh, a, a rifle that uh, has a, a a very modern ergonomy that allows you to use practical all the possible uh, types of uh, target acquisition. So from the open sights, peep sight, uh, standard open sights, uh, uh, ghost rings, uh, uh, red dots, uh, uh, long eye relief scope, uh, conventional scope, Whatever you like, you can put it inside. So, and the ergonomy allows you uh, to, to use ev everything. And this is because it has a, an adjustable stock, a, a very nice ergonomy, very modern. So, and pl plus I have to add that uh, a so modern ergonomy has been put together with uh, a 1,886 uh, year old uh, rifle so it was a, a, a great job the one that uh, Stefano and uh, and his uh, staff uh, has done for this uh, particular rifle okay the the second uh, world word is uh, sturdiness this is a very tough rifle, uh, very, very tough, uh, robust, uh, and uh, it, it will uh, long. Uh, it, it is a long-lasting rifle that you you will use uh, in uh, from Africa to U.S. or Europe or wherever you want, and you will uh, keep it for you in your family for hundreds of years. Okay. This is an, a good, a very good in investment, I must say. So, these are money, money well spent, absolutely. For a 30-30, it's unbelievable. Okay. Uh, another, another feature that I strongly appreciated is that it is very reliable. I didn't have any problem with this uh, rifle, even even if uh, this is uh, the prototype. This is uh, the pre-production. The number one, eh, the, the the drop time number one. So normally the number the number ones um, has uh, very little problems, uh, and from the very beginning I was able to to shoot uh, accuracy with all uh, the, the the features that you that you need and you demand from a, a lever action. So these are the four words uh, that. Uh, can describe very well the Pedersoli drop time 3030. Then uh, I was uh, astonished by the quality of this uh, Vu Life uh, red dot. It's unbelievable that uh, uh, is, the cost is less than 100 bucks, but it has the same features of uh, five, 600 bucks uh, red dot. I don't know how they, they made it, but they made it. 
China are, is working very well with the high technology, uh, very sturdy and reliable materials. So they did a great job, really a great job. I strongly recommend you this this uh, red dot. And this is a, a, a red dot that you, you can shoot with this uh, red dot with both open eyes opened or with just one because it's very wide and so uh, this is a, a great advantage, especially if you are hunting on drive for wild boar, that is a very um, close encounter with, with this animal, so very, very short shot. And uh, in, this, in that case, it uh, is uh, mandatory to, to keep uh, both eyes open, uh, to aim correct with, uh, precisely and uh, with accuracy. So, uh, it, it's, a, it's a very nice product. Then, uh, I must say thank you to Alessandro Contessa, and Andrea Contessa and all the staff from Contessa for the detachable mounts and for the rail. 100% uh, reliable and also they allowed me to shoot with uh, many types of optics and open sights, uh, both in Africa and here in Italy. So without uh, their products, I couldn't do it. So number one of the, uh, the detachable mounts and all the type of mounts that you can need in a rifle. Last but not least, the Baschieri and Pellagri powder. I did uh, a, a great job with uh, their, their powder to reload my ammunition that was okay from uh, the, the wild boar to the impalas, to the kudu, to the wildebeest. No problem for the distance of shooting. I have shot, uh, I took some very long shots in Africa for a 30-30, obviously. I'm not talking about a 300 Winchester Magnum, but for a 30-30 was a very long shot, very big animal, tough animals, but uh, great accuracy and great uh, uh, terminal performance. So I was very astonished from the quality of this kind of powder that I was able to use uh, from the hot uh, climate in Africa uh, to the very, very cold here during our winter time here for wild boar in Italy and also for culling in the winter for wild boar. So there, uh, I was a, a privileged man <coughs> because uh, testing for number one products was uh, it was not an easy task but I was able to do it and I'm very proud for them they did a great job of the force so I, I unfortunately I wasn't able to to shoot with the red dot combination on wild boar hunting but I did it in Africa so I, I will continue the test of this uh, very interesting red, uh, red dot uh, in the future, but uh, I strongly recommend you to test it because uh, you, 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 you won't believe how, how uh, useful is this uh, small and cheap red dot, okay? So, uh, thank you very much for your attention, for your patience on, on seeing these very long videos. Uh, articulate videos but it was uh, a pleasure for me I hope to I really hope to be able to to, to, to give you uh, all the possible information about these products and I think that you have enough uh, uh, indication for an eventual choice eh? for if you want to buy these products uh, at least uh, you have uh, some uh, experience uh, uh, on the hunting field, uh, practical experience uh, to, to talk about and uh, to think about. Okay, thank you very much again and see you again on my Wild Hunters channel on YouTube.